Emu skin leather, you, you killed poor Emu's. Yeah. Given the choice, would you go the Mercedes SLK or the BMW Z3? Hey, my name is Andy, I'm here with Lonnie, and today we're doing a 90s German Roadster showdown. On this side, we've got the Mercedes SLK 230, and on this side, we've got the BMW Z3. Let's go. Round one, fight! So for round one, we're gonna be talking about the exterior styling. Now, if anyone with eyes can see, you can clearly see that the Z3 is a better looking car. You're obviously blind, if that's the case. How is that a better looking car? It looks like um, somebody rammed some sort of vehicle into the wall and that's what came out. Look at the front of this. This is designed by the great Bruno Saka, okay? It's a Bruno Sackwack. <laughs> that's it, Sackwack. Look, you've got gills on the side here. It makes it look like a shark. Yeah, so when you throw it in the water, you know, it sinks faster. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know one thing that I will concede and say? I like the back of, your, of this SLK. The whole thing is fucking sexy, man. Mate, just the back. Ignore the fact that I'm missing a badge. I'll just animate one on top Again, of that. It looks like somebody just fucking rammed another car into the back of the thing and fucking said, oh, it looks good. <laughs> Let's release it. Look at these beautiful designs. Big ass, you know. The baby got back, you know. People like <laughs> people like that, you That's know. That's it. Personally, I think that the interior of this is just better, man. Um, yeah, it's the, the leather, the, this um, emu skin leather. You, you killed poor emus. Why would you do that? Look at all this plastic, you know? Look at what? it. That's, quali look at this. Look that's at this. quality, mate. It's all plastic. Listen to it. No, it's not quality, mate. Well, let's let's go have a look at this one. Firstly, this looks like a gym bag. Mate, this is quintessential 90s, man. This is the 90s flair right here. Look at the coloring. It's amazing. Secretly, I do kind of like the red. Yeah. I mean, a, a lot of people don't, but I actually do. I think it's mad. This is a very rare co color combination for a Series 2 as well. The poor Emu died for those bloody seats. <laughs> you know, for the slowest car on earth. We have to come to some kind of agreement because this is a showdown. Considering that this is my show and I'm biased, round one goes to the BMW, but oh. there's plenty more. Oh, okay. Oh. Round one, BMW. Uh, will we let the people decide? Leave your comments. Round two. Fight. Round two, performance. Now, right away, I'm gonna go in and just defend this because it's not all about speed and performance. Yeah, if it was fast, you wouldn't be saying that, mate. <laughs> I mean, it's all about the driving experience. You've got a supercharger, yes, but that's not what it's about. Power is everything. Well, uh, do you know what? In the words of Jeremy Clarkson. Power! And in that case, this supercharged, how big is it anyway? This is a 2.3 litre supercharged engine. 2.3 litre. 145 kilowatts, about 260, 270 nms, maybe a bit more, I could be wrong. They've even put red here on the, on the oh, insert. Red there. goes faster. These didn't come in manual, or did they? They did, but they were very rare. They were quite a rare option because you're paying $100,000 for a car. Why would you get a manual, you know? What do you mean? You're buying a two-seater sports car. You don't want to relax. You're going to be on the ragged edge, but revving out every I've got gear. Craptronic. When you go to change gear and then 20 minutes later it goes, now we'll change. <laughs> At least they offered this in manual. I mean, I guess they had to because that in an automatic would have been painfully slow. Yeah, because all the little young idiots drive <laughs> or want a BMW, you know? This is class. This is where, this is, this is where you want to be. Mercedes has been making freaking sports cars since bloody the early 1920s, mate. Performance goes to Lonnie, round two. So that makes it one all. Round three, fight. Now on to round three, practicality and usability. Now, I know that these are two very impractical two-seater German roadsters, but which one is slightly less rubbish? Which has the most practicality? Let's go. Starting with this thing over here. Absolutely no space. It's rubbish. You can put like um, some bubble gum in there if you want. Yeah, um. <laughs> that's, that's probably it. How's this? It's a uh, tiny size in there, you know. Then you got this here. What's that? Another little... Oh wow, this is useful. Look how big that is. Yeah, that's for your smokes and things. Yeah. You fit nothing in there. And here, you put your uh, windscreen um, <laughs> cover uh, shield in here. Yeah, and you can, put, you can put a gun in there if you wanted to. A gun? Yeah, if, you're, if you're in the USA or something, you know. Do you know, that's for holding hairdressing supplies, mate. This is a hairdresser's car. <laughs> mine or yours? What are you talking about, mine? Here? There's one ginormous elephant in the room you haven't talked about. What's that? There's a giant roof yeah. in your boot. Yeah, and I've still got more space than you with nothing in the boot. No way. Yes, look how much space I've got. I've got tons of space still there. Hey, look at yours. 
Massive. It's yeah, tiny. It's freaking tiny. Do you know what? They've actually robbed all of it by putting the battery in there and tools. They're not supposed to be practical cars, I guess, are both of them. They're supposed to be for fun and things like that, you know? Well, I'll tell you what is cool, though. In here, you have storage for when you want to, you know, go out for a drive and leave your roof down. You have this storage cubby up the top here. Then you also have this one in the front, and they're both lockable. You stick a key yeah. in there, lockable. How is that worse? This, listen to it. It's quality. That's fucking chat, man. That is quality. It's quality yeah. And it won't get stolen. They don't have to break it or anything. Indestructible. I can fit an umbrella in that side. Oh, yeah. Like the tiniest umbrella you can find. But you know? it does the job. Oh, and yeah, then in the job. middle here, all you've got is uh, these three little pockets. Oh, so yeah. it's, it's not practical at all. Which one is least pra is the most practical though? Looking at it, I actually think that one, apart from the lockable things, which I think is quite a good yeah, idea. You probably win with some of the internal stuff. But overall space practicality. The boot is most important. It's got to be, I, I reckon it's the Merc. So that means it's two to you yeah. and one to the Z3. Okay. Shit. Like Round four, fight. Round number four, value. Now this car was about 69,000 or thereabouts when new, which adjusted for inflation is about 115 grand in today's money. How much was yours? Mine was 96,700 brand new in 2000. And now it's what, 160 ish? It's about 160,000 in, today's, in money. today's money. So yours was about 40 grand more expensive than this. Yes. 40 and, grand. Yeah, and because it's a better car for God's sakes. Yeah, these aren't worth, they're not worth anything. The two liters were shit. I'll tell honest. you what though. <laughs> You could get a six-cylinder one of these for less than the cost of your four-cylinder. They had to be competitive because the, the Mercedes was probably a better product, you know, from the get-go. They had, they had a compressor. Was it? Yeah, they had a <laughs> compressor from the get-go. A compressor model, and they sold them like hotcakes. As far as value goes, this wins, my friend. That's 40 grand cheaper. So I could have this and $40,000 extra. This car wins round four, which means we are now tied. It is neck and neck two each going into the fifth round now it's challenge time we're gonna see who can put their roof up the fastest you ready i'm ready three, three two one let's go man you're gonna lose oh shit my knee i'm done Still going. Still going. One hour later. I'm a thousand years older now. Still going. <laughs> your car doesn't have any of that fancy stuff, does it? But I did win. Just Add, added safety. What do you and mean? There's roll bars in there. Yeah, because it's a hard roof. You see, if I go and I park my car somewhere, somebody can't come with a knife and stab it open. <clears throat> Now we got to do the all important sound check. Do you want to go first? I'd love to go first. Does this thing even sound good? It does sound good. It does sound pretty good. It, it does sound pretty good, but you don't know about my secret weapon. Yeah, what's that? This car sounds amazing. What, you got a hole in the exhaust? That, that no. Amer that American build quality is um, giving you a hole in the exhaust and makes it sound a bit better. Is that what it is? No, but you'll see. Take this. Now you're going to hear what a real four cylinder sounds like. It sounds like a Honda. <laughs> it does not sound like a Honda. It sounds like a performance machine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. You know, the fact that you've got an aftermarket exhaust, you're going to win for sure. <laughs> you see that i was kind of that's a lie you, what what are you gonna try and deny it what i was kind of hoping you didn't notice that yes this has been fitted with an aftermarket exhaust but therefore i've won i think from factory if that's factory mm. that sounds better thank you it does sound better thank but you, my secret <laughs> my secret weapon now time for round five this is the deciding round whoever wins this wins the german mini car showdown thing that the we're imaging, doing yeah, that, that yes thing, yeah. that round five fight now the fifth and final round is the people's choice we're gonna ask strangers on the street which car they prefer now this is where you'll see the bmw wins uh sure okay we'll see. You, you'll see let's okay. go if you had the choice between this bmw z3 or that clk which one are you going for uh 
black black. So the black. <laughs> Lonnie, okay? that's one down, okay, one so vote. We'll yeah. see. Colour's not fair. <laughs> what do you mean the colour? <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. Colour's, Thank you. colors, colors well. legend. Yeah. Given the choice, which car would you choose? Would you go the Mercedes or the BMW? Yeah. You go the Mercedes? Yeah. You go BMW. You go BMW? BMW Biased. Awesome. Yeah. Alright, thanks guys. Given the choice, would you go this BMW Z3 or the Mercedes SLK? Uh, the Z3 is a beautiful car, but you can't beat the SLK. Oh. The Mercedes Silver, it looks mint. The rims are fresh. It's in good condition and it's a beautiful car. You go the Mercedes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what that means, Lonnie? That's two all. Two all. We're two all. We're tied. Let's go see if we can find one more. <laughs> Given the choice, would you go the Mercedes SLK or the BMW Z3? Personally, the BMW um, Z3. BMW? Yeah. I'd probably just go the Z3. You go the BMW? I'm going to be devil's advocate. I'm going to go Mercedes. You're going to go Mercedes. But you know what that means. That means, Lonnie. You win. I win. Yeah, that's, right. that's how it is. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. So with round five, People's Choice Awards, looks like the BMW comes out on top. How do you feel? Um, you know, some people just don't have taste. They're just hopeless. You're asking people who don't care about cars. Do you want one more shot at the title? That would be nice. We'll ask one more group of people what they say and we'll see how it goes. Ready? If you guys had the choice between this BMW right here yep. or that Mercedes, which one would you pick? I'll go for this one. Mercedes for life. Mercedes for life? What about BMW. You? BMW? Yeah. No doubt BMW. No doubt BMW? No doubt BMW. Yeah. BMW as well? Yes. Oh, oh, mate. It's like me. I it's can't like him. It <laughs> They don't know anything about it. They don't know anything, man. Yeah. That's right, but the BMW does win, which means, Lonnie? Are you still winning? You <laughs> still win! Thank you. So with that, the BMW wins the People's Choice Award. But what would you pick? Let us know in the comments below. Would you go the Z3 or would you go the SLK? I'm going to put in a vote for the BMW. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to put in a vote for the Mercedes. Right. How about that? If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to follow along on the journey, and I'll see you guys in the next video. That's as good, yeah. That's as good. <laughs>